No. I know y'all didn't kill him. YouTube Funk Nation, it's your boy Funk, and we're back with another episode of Picard. We got two more left. Well, after this one, we got one more left. <laughs> and I'm excited because next week I'll be able to see episode 9 and 10 in IMAX here in Georgia. So I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully I'll run into some people that I've been commenting with on Twitter. So we'll just have to see. But I'm excited to see what is going on, what is behind this red door, because we was left on that cliffhanger where Troy was in Jack Jack's mind and she was like let's go together and it just leaves off right there so I don't know what's behind this door I am still lingering between pod race and Borg after that last episode with Vatic talking to Seven saying how great it is for you to witness this or something like that I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head but I'm like why would she even say that and then all these different voices that Jack be hearing in his head I'm like it's it's hard it's either Pyrake or Borg I'm leaning more towards Borg however what if it's both Pyrrhate and Borg? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. What if those two got together and created a whole new entity and that's what this is? I don't know, but I have been on the edge of my seat since the first episode and this has been the best season of Star Trek in a very long time. So without a further ado, let's hop into this new episode of Picard. Engage! See, the Shrike shouldn't be there. I wanted to see if the Shrike was still going to be there in the intro. They destroyed the Shrike. I still love this intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You know what? I think I'm going to need a drink. The mind doesn't wish to open. Here we go again with these old school music. After everything Vatic was saying, you know, longing connection. I'm here with you, Jack, in your mind. I'm pretty sure it's bored. I can feel your reluctance, but you're safe. And just the way it echoes. And is this really Troy? They're almost like neurons. I don't know what they are. Think, Jack. What do they mean to you? What is that? Flowers? Leaves? Rose petals? The Crimson Arboretum. My mother took me there as a boy. She adored this song. Didn't Picard have something similar to that with rose petals in like season one? Jack, stay with me. What was that season two? Coded in the melody. Passed down from my father to my mother to me. The vines, Jack. What are they? I don't know. Is this really Troy? Thousands of flowers beneath the soil. What if Vatic got into Troy somehow, or that entity did, and they are leading Jack through this door to unravel this big plan? And what happened to Diana? Perfect. Perfect? So the vines are connections. Is this the Great Link? Yes. Or is this the Collective? Many. Many. It's behind that door. You let me open it for you, you will not be alone. Yes. Let's go. This red door had been having significance since the very first episode when we got introduced to Jack. Was it the very first episode? It was episode two. It was one of them. And I'm like, what's up with the red door and the red lady? All that connection between them two. Leading up to Frontier Day. The suspense is killing me. Just open the door. What the fuck? What did you see? I thought we was going to see something. I, I, I'm really sorry. Excuse me. What? Tell me, what did you see? What did you see? Yo, you just said you was with him. Diana. How you just gonna run away? What's wrong? What happened? Talk! I told it! Bro! Yeah, I, I was right from the very first episode. Yo, let's go. I was hoping it was par race, but the board, let's go. But how does this even make sense? The Vox? Part nine, the box. All right, so I already know what the box is because if you ever watched Transformers Beast Wars back in the day, the box was this alien race that came in, which was called the voice that's the only reason i know that <laughs> but yo i said it from episode one or two when we were introduced to the very first chainling and he looked funny he didn't look like a regular changeling he looked more like techno organic if that made sense when he changed i was like wait a minute is that borg or is this new form but then it was a you know it was revealed later on it was a changeling i was like oh okay but i'm like well why would they introduce the borg again because the borg was introduced with the last season so i don't know how all this is gonna come together but bro, i'm excited let's go man 
I'm a great pronosticator. Everybody was like, it's not the Borg. It's not the Borg. Maybe this is a red herring. Maybe it's, maybe this is showing us something that's revealed later on. Or maybe this is what's been behind this the whole time. Damn, I was really hoping it was Paw Wraiths, bro. So we could get a chance about, you know, with the Great Link and all that. And, oh well. Get some Dominion characters in here. I am Locutus of Here we go again. This is futile. That's what they needed his body for. Jack has never been assimilated. There are no transceivers, no receivers. The voices in his head are distinct, but I have never mistaken Borg. Some transceivers and receivers are organic. The technology inside Jack. No one has seen or heard from the Borg in over a decade. Borg have evolved. No, no, no. <laughs> The only thing I've ever passed on is my Eremotic Syndrome. You never had Eremotic Syndrome. That is why Soong kept your body at Daystrom. Wow. The Borg had passed something on to Jack through Locutus. Techno-organic, just like in Beast Wars or Beast Machines. <sighs> so how does this work out? We must tell him. No. What do you mean, no? I will. Oh. It's my responsibility. Okay. I was about to say. I'm really sorry, but there are protocols. What do you mean? Maddox was searching for a weapon against humanity. That weapon was Jack. Wow. Enter the minds of others and control them. Your son is dangerous. <sighs> wow. Hold on, Troy. When did you get reinstated, though? What does she see? Jack. Tell him. I am never letting a goddamn better side come near me again. <laughs> everyone, everyone has their secrets. <laughs> the fact that she's a former Starfleet counselor raises some serious. Jack, counselor, just Troy. tell me, tell me, what does she see in here? Thank you. Yo, Ed Belier's talented actor, bro. Thirty-five years ago, I was assimilated to do terrible things, and I survived. <laughs> Starfleet cleared me, but later I was diagnosed Eremotic syndrome. But that was a misdiagnosis. The symptoms were merely a side effects. Of being assimilated. Of what? Techno-organic. Seed. Something I passed on to you. The Borg. Seeking a hive for, for a collective, for a queen? Subconsciously, perhaps. So how much of me is me? That's a good question. I've always known the world was imperfect. And I always thought if people could only speak in one voice, act in one mind together. I knew a little cybernetic authoritarianism was the answer. The Borg, they don't feel, don't care. But I, I, I do. So, so how does that factor into this? We must take precautions. Precautions? It's not just about you anymore. When you look at me, what do you... Look at me, damn it. What Yo, this is some good dialogue, man. What are you I came close to killing everyone I knew. You don't know what it is to be controlled by them. I've seen with my own eyes what you are capable of, Jack. But he has control though, right? There's a place where you will be safe. A research academy on Vulcan. What are they gonna do? My mail that out of them? It's an institution. A prison where they can mind meld. And... No thanks. Well, this is my problem and I can handle it myself. How? Oh shit. I was never getting out of here on my own, was I? I mean, technically you could probably take over their minds and then do what you need to do, right? You said you'd never give up on me. Starfleet protocols dictate. What about the protocols of a father? Or were you never issued those? I mean, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, bruh. <laughs> Jack, what is this? Jack. All right, this is not good at all. How is this supposed to pan out? Jack, where are you going? Home. We can find a solution. We, we can undo this. There's a voice in my head. I always thought it was yours. It wasn't. If she wants me, then I'll trade myself for answers. I'll show her exactly who and what I am. That is not going to work. You're going to get yourself killed. Bro, what? Bro, I, Where am I going? Yeah, how are you going to get there? Where are you? Where's Gerardi at? Ain't she supposed to be watching some portal or some shit? Jack, Jack. Fine, fine. Of course they did. 
Why can't she help out in this in all this shit that's going on? And the Titan just gonna let this happen? Tractor beam, nothing? Oh, never mind. He's out of here. Y'all just watch that shit happen. He inherited the best of you. And the worst of you. And the worst of me. I gave Wesley space, and I lost him to it. So I watched Jack closer. Beverly, what's going on with your kids? You be having all... Can you have a normal child for once? <laughs> there must be something I can do. I'm going to find it. I wonder if Beverly knew all along, and that's why she left, and they went into hiding. Shit, can't Data help? Captain, were you able to track the shuttle? I'm afraid we found nothing. How? Jack is jamming the transponder. Of course. Would you like me to say something comforting? You might find that impossible. <laughs> this is a new data, though. That's all he needed. The force of the guard. Found something. Better get down to sick bay. More you need to know about Jack. What do you mean there's more? What else is there? What do you mean, no, 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 no? What is, what did that mean? So what did you bring me in? Tachyon radiation pulses. Tachyon? Time travel? Transform conduit. Jack, Jack. Is that Gerardi? That sounds like Gerardi's voice. I wish they'd have used the original board theme, though. Ah, commercial. I wish they used the Borg theme on that one, man. I was hoping to hear a bo, 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 bo. You know what I'm talking about. I can't remember, you know. But where is Gerardi in all of this? If the Borg is here, I need a drink doing that, man. I'm just bad. They just let that man go. I mean, he can control any and everybody. So, I mean, he can't really, like, not get away, you know? <laughs> Ever since Captain Shaw had his breakdown moment, I want to say it's episode three or four, and he was like, the Borg is still out there. It's been ingrained, man. It's like little trickles, little trickles of things. They were talking about the Borg. It could have been popular race and the great link and all that because of the chain link but the person vatic was talking to did not look like they were bored so is there a organic board chain link that we don't know about like did they species intermingle the board probably assimilated a change link and that's where we at that's probably what happened. All Borg undergo genetic alterations so that their bodies can communicate with their cybernetic components. Yours were just a little more extensive. What you mean? Code was actually written and stored inside you. Something we were never able to detect 35 years ago. Wow. Dormant biological Borg adaptations. That's why Vatic stole your body from Daystrom. Jean-Luc as Locutus was a kind of receiver. That's why I could still hear them after I was assimilated. So how is Jack different? Your son appears to be a transmitter, able to send instructions. That is from the end credits. To weaponize that Borg genetic code. And since Jack was able to control, would never assimilate. How could they receive his signals? That we do not know. How could I have missed that? Beverly, it's a testament to you that he managed to resist for so long. He may be Borg, but that is not all. What else is he? Changelings have been working with the Borg from the beginning. Yeah. All of Starfleet is gathered in one location. Frontier Day. The outcome of this entire conspiracy was intended for this exact moment. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. We have to warn them. Of what exactly? They're going to blow us out of the water. Out of the water? I know it's a figure of speech, but you're in space. Soul system right now. Smack dab in the middle of Frontier Day. Running exercises with our faces pinned to their dartboard. You need another ship. It's our only option, Captain. Of course it is. I mean, y'all still got the cloaking technology, so y'all should be all right. Space Dog, this is NCC 1701F. 1701 Foxtrot? We getting to see the Enterprise, baby? Happy Frontier Day. Yeah! Even though it's been taken over. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight. 250 years ago today. Warp 5 capable vessel made its maiden voyage. I almost thought that was Janeway for a second. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of me. These damn headphones are surround sound. <laughs> All right, let's get more information here. 
Come on, Jack. Find your answers. Because we want to know. That really sounds like Gerardi. I love that shot. It's like when it goes to the right, they're going home. When it's going to the left, they're going away from home. We gather on Frontier Day as we demonstrate our newest advancement, fleet formation. USS Pulaski. That shit looks so nice. Every ship in Starfleet to operate as one. An impenetrable armada. Sounds like Borg shit. This system will protect our crews and our final frontier. Right from the mouth of Admiral Elizabeth Shelby. <laughs> you have her endorsing something so Borg like. She's a changeling. We'll reach sector 001 in less than one hour, sir. Shh. A whole hour shit. Frontier day gonna be over with. For all my That's not Gerardi. I don't know what I am, but I know I'm not yours. So who is playing the board queen? Any names for you? Cause this does not sound like Gerardi. Why I'm neither your rebirth. That is why you are Vox. Roll credits! Cutest the one who speaks. Oh, that's his name, Vok? What I believe in is mercy. You're not gonna be able to do it. She got control over you, yo. To take everything back. Those who live like shattered glass. Shattered glass. Huh. There's a throwback. Ah! Shoot! Jack! Resistance is futile. So where's Jurati and all this shit? Really? Fuck! Really? Are you serious, bro? You know what? Jack is going to take over. This is Starfleet code. Transporter code. They've implemented portions of Captain Picard Borg altered DNA into the transporter system. What? Cross-reference this code with the transporter system of the Titan. Is that why they never use the transporters? This code is part of transporter system architecture. Captain Picard's DNA is now considered common biology. Oh. Using the changelings to infiltrate starships and add this new Borg DNA into everyone who steps inside a transporter. Wow. Every person, every species. Assimilation on a mass level. They've been assimilating, assimilating. Yep. the entire fleet this whole time. Yep. Fleet formation looks more like a firing squad. How about you hail them? Oh. We just trying to commandeer our system. Hail the entire fleet. Interrupt her transmission. This is Admiral Jean-Luc Picard. Command, what the hell is happening? Changeling infiltration of Starfleet has made us vulnerable to our greatest enemy, the Borg. Admiral Shelby, I know this message may seem desperate. She a changeling, though. You must trust us. Doesn't matter. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Picking up a massive energy spike from where? The Borg. What is that? What is this? What the hell was that? They took over. Oh. Are you all right? No. She knows. It's a Borg signal. Borg genetic material doesn't propagate past a certain point. For human beings is age 25. Oh. This might not affect us. But it will affect the youngest members of the crew. Yep. Tactical red alert. Too late. You're they already, they assimilated. Don't tell me. It happened now. Like, yep. Wow. How are they going to get out of this? The Forge. No. No. How? We are the Borg. Bro, how y'all supposed to get out of this? The Forge about to go off. Computer, locate a laundry La Forge. No longer compatible with human designation. Wow. They took all the young folks. No. Done. How y'all gonna get out of this one? They all, they all connected. Yeah. And they're killing all the old heads. Fight. Yes. Go. Get out of there. Don't kill him. Stun him. Stun him. There you go. Stun. Do not kill. Do not. Please don't kill Shaw. You can't. Stop. And do what? No, no, no. We need a plan. I understand, man. 
Yo, this shit is worse than what Vatic was doing. Where the rest of this crew come from? Wasn't they on the Intrepid? I thought they had a skeleton crew on the Titan. Starfleet has now changed. Jack, why can't you stop this shit? Collective. Oh my God, bro. Y'all can't get a break for shit. Y'all done got taken over twice in like two days. What the fuck? <laughs> Techno Organic was their whole plan. They've been assimilating them since day one. My thing is, okay, last season, Jurati and the board and Starfleet are like this, son. They were sitting outside this gateway portal being the gatekeepers. Where are they now? Apparently there was tachyons out there. So these are Borg from the future or the past or another timeline or something. But my thing is, why is Jack not fighting? Why is he waiting till everybody's getting killed off, man? I cannot wait to see this in IMAX, yo. I hope everybody else that got a chance to get the IMAX tickets. If you didn't know, I'm sorry. I didn't find out until like a day before. They released the, tick the free tickets to see the, the last two episodes of uh, Picard in IMAX, which will be this episode and then the series finale. Why won't we assimilate it? Y'all old. Here, I think the process must have skipped a generation. We need to get off the Titan before it's too late. Y'all need to steal an old ship. Okay. What about the people that are not infected? <laughs> Bro. Well, been for your own. Y'all need another ship. Y'all need to find another ship that has not been assimilated in this fleet coordinated attack. To all who can hear, we have managed to retake control of our bridge. Taking us out of formation. No, no. What ship is that? Excelsior. Tell my family. Oh. Excelsior eliminated. All vessels secure. Fleet. Wow. Shut that off. How is he even broadcasting over comms? The name is Joe. Wait, wait, wait. Computer. You notice. Know Changing destination. There's nobody posted down there. Maybe a repair shuttle. Everyone. But to everyone where? However you can head to the sub-level maintenance corridor immediately. How the Borg not hearing that, that chatter over the comms. Y'all need to get a ship that doesn't have this, like the key Klingon ship or something. Has been added to our own. Is that Jack? Starfleet now is Borg. What? This better not end right here. No. Okay, I was about to say. I've never been so happy to see so many wrinkles. <laughs> I know I was need to laugh at that, but it's a serious situation. I, don't know. They took my girls. I know. You will get them back. You'll figure it out. We'll need to get off of this ship. Shuttles don't connect to the new system. Right. The robot's right. <laughs> the robot's right. I've got a better idea. Go to a ship that doesn't connect to everyone. I got a feeling somebody's about to die here. You got it. Data, come on. Go! Covering fire! What makes you think there hasn't already been destroyed? Data, could you try being a little more positive? I hope we die quickly. <laughs> <laughs> data being data. No, I know y'all didn't kill him. No, y'all did not just kill off show. I knew something. Go. Chance. Go, get him out. Take him. He's pick him up. No, 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 no. That's that's not my ship anymore. It's yours. <gasps> you have the cards. Oh. Seven of nine. Bro, no, man. Bro, why did y'all kill off Shaw? I wanted a series with Seven and Shaw. I knew somebody was going to die, but fuck. I don't know how to feel about that one. I don't know. And he said Seven of Nine. Oh, my God. I'm, I am don't know how to feel about that one. Target. No, they about to destroy... Now, the whole planet of Earth is compromised now. They about to take over. And as that's the end, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the end. It's commercial. Okay, shit. Hey, why did y'all kill off Shaw, man? Well, Seven of Nine got her ship if they ever get out of this. I'm sad. 
I'm sad. Okay, we're back. I was hoping we wouldn't end it like that. All right, so what ship are we taking? You might as well take the OG Enterprise. Cody, why are we here? What do you think? Something older, analog, offline from the others. Yes. Well, I was going to say this is a surprise one day, but... You hear it. This is going to be the OG in it. It's the OG Enterprise from the next generation. The first one. They rebuilt it. Yep. Yep. They rebuilt it. His old baby. The Enterprise D. Uh, how? Thank the good old Prime Directive. I have never seen a beautiful ship. The saucer was retrieved from Viridian 3 so as not to influence the system. I've been restoring it bit by bit over the last 20 years. Engines and the cells come from the USS Syracuse. Hmm. Strange. See, Joy. I feel. <coughs> You're not the only one, Data. Yep. The OG home. And obviously, we can't use the Enterprise E. <coughs> Worf. That was not my fault. <laughs> She's beautiful, Joy. Yeah. Will she fly? About to find out. Oh, yes. She'll fly. I want to see the bridge. Oh, the lights. Come on. Computer. Lights? Oh, my God. They did not skip a beat. It looks the same. They did not skip a beat. <laughs> Red carpet and everything. Finally, the crew of the Enterprise have returned home. Is the bridge smaller or am I just bigger? No. No? She's exactly as she was. It looks a little bigger, though, to me. i heard the weapon systems on the E. Morph. <laughs> she is perfect, Jordy. Plaque. Hello, chair. <laughs> You're looking at the last functional ship in the fleet not tied to the system. Mm. I realize what I've missed most, the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. I've got drones loading torpedoes into the bay as we speak. Computer, initiate system reactivation procedures. Authorization acknowledged. US but wouldn't the Borg know about these ships as at the museum? USS Enterprise, now under command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I hereby accept the field demotion. The field demotion. <laughs> We've been here before. I'm reluctant to ask you all to face this threat again. You're the crew of the USS Enterprise. Hmm. We're your family. Jack, Alondra, Sydney, they're our family too. Wherever you go, we go. We go. So what's the plan? Thank you, number one. All systems online, Captain. Ooh! Weapons are ready, although they are limited. Well, at least we got them. <laughs> At least we got him. We'll need every bit of power you can get to those old shields. Make it so. Make it so. Yes. Yes. Now that is a amazing sight. Course for Earth. Maximum warp. Played in, sir. So. She's ready. How's this going to pan out? Engage. Engage. I've never seen a more beautiful ship. Do the elongated. Yes. All right, they're heading back to Earth, which I don't think is a good idea. Oh, Terry, y'all are doing y'all thing, buddy. Y'all are doing y'all thing. I appreciate everything you are doing with this show, dude. I was thinking they might take the OG Enterprise, like the original series Enterprise, because, I mean, that's analog too, but, hey, it's nothing better than going with their home ship, the Delta. Delta mean D. <laughs> I want to know what is Jack's plan. He accepted a simulation. So do he think he can control what's going on? Because it looked like the queen took over after that, man. I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to get out of this. There's one episode left. Uh, whoo, talking about being a rock at a hard place. Jesus, I don't know what to think about this one, man. Yo, Shaw being, man, them killing off Shaw really tugged at the heartstrings. It was a fitting for him to say... You now have the con. Seven of nine. I didn't expect him to kill off Shaw. Don't get me wrong. He was a dick at the beginning, but you understood why the way he is based off his past. But after that, you start to like everything about him. I didn't want him to die, man. Shit, kill off Rafi. <laughs> oh, no. 
I didn't want them to kill off Raffi too. I don't know. I just felt like I knew they was going to kill someone, but I didn't think they was going to kill him off. Yo, I swear to God, Terry Metalis know how to keep you on the edge of your seat. This has to be one of the best episodes I've seen in a long time. I really was so engaged. I wasn't really saying much except for the parts that actually got me out my seat. I want to know why one, Jack willingly allow himself to be assimilated. Like, I don't know if he thinks he can overcome this queen that we have. And where is Gerardi at? I thought she had complete control over the board they did state tachyon particles was present so that means time travel is present so i just don't know what jack's plan is but i was right i stated it when i first saw the first yellow changeling in episode two i believe where jack got his ass handed to him that the way it shifted looked it very funny at first i was like is this a techno organic borg or some new type of borg but then they say it was changelings but the borg and changelings have been working together so everyone that has been going through a teleporter is now part of the collective they imprinted certain part of their dna and this is a new form of assimilation not only that they assimilated all the young cats they say oh you know what all the old heads we don't need them they are too old and fragile youngins they are easily assimilatable <laughs> yes i made up a word the dialogue between jack and picard it was so intense like yeah you couldn't help to be engaged in their whole conversation. Jack became Thanos. He was like, fine, I'll do it myself. But my thing is, if he became assimilated, why didn't he try to take over before the queen start killing off everybody in the, in the fleet? But I don't know. Rest in peace. Captain Shaw. I knew someone was going to die. Just the way it was angled, the way they filmed them in the corridor trying to get to the shuttle, I just knew someone was going to get hit. I really started to like his character, man. But the highlight of the episode? Seeing the OG Enterprise D. They rebuilt it, man. They brought it back. I am so excited about that. And then everybody was looking at Worf when they was talking about, well, you know what? It's not the Enterprise E. And everybody was just like, yeah, Worf, that was, that was your fault, buddy. <laughs> If my memory serves me right, Worf was the captain of the Enterprise. So I don't know what happened in that time, but apparently he's not the captain of that ship no more. So just seeing the Delta, man, that was just a beautiful sight. Every Star Trek Next Generation fan probably got emotional or a little teary-eyed when they saw that ship cross the screen. I cannot wait to see this in IMAX next week. I just want to know what is the end game? What is Jack's plan? What is Picard's plan? What is going to happen? How are you going to go back to Earth with the whole fleet like this? How do you expect to go against an armada? Because there's thousands of ships. Not going to say thousands. It looks like th hundreds of ships. There's about a thousand ships. There's a lot of ships out there. So how you you expect to go up against those so we just gonna have to see what did y'all think about episode nine of picard season three i had a great time with it it was an emotional roller coaster i mean it had everything emotion action the weight the dialogue everything about it the visuals was awesome man you couldn't ask for nothing better so i don't know how they're going to get out of this on the next episode so until then put in the comments on what you think did i miss anything if so go in let me know make sure you tell somebody you love them and i'll see y'all on the next video or stream deuces <laughs>